to Tupac's murder. You understand what I'm saying? It's crazy. So now Puff is want, want Big to get dealt with because Big then robbed him out of 200000 because Big had started putting his writings, his publishing, and his daughter's name and other people's names or giving Lil' Kim her publishing when you know he may have wrote some of it. You know what I'm saying? Giving Lil' C's his publishing, you understand? Because he know he had wrote some of it. Because he know he can always get kickback from Lil' C's and Lil' Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So now, Puff is feeling some kind of way because he didn't effed up the money to Clyde Davis now. Yeah, they said, they said it ain't worth nothing. Yeah, but we talking about back then. Yeah. So now, Puff, your star is going to another place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your star in getting 62 million. We done paid all this money for him to go to London. We done paid all the money to make big, big, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The notorious big, we done paid all this money to mm -hmm. make him big. Now, we not gonna get our residuals back now? Yeah. Cause he going someplace else? Puff look real bad. Cause you look, know why he look real bad? Cause Clyde Davis told Clyde him to Davis. sign yeah. them niggas. Wow. He believed in un. He say sign them. Yeah. He didn't sign. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, he mad at Big. Big said, I can't be mad at him cause he showed me how to get money. You understand? Mm -hmm. But, the dudes who tried to get big didn't come to the party that night. But the dudes who tried to get Puff was there bright and early. That's they had, crazy, two different groups, that's why. It's crazy. If it had been three or four, it could have been three or four. While we was out there, three or four, because you got to realize, you got the death row niggas that want somebody from death Bad row. Boy. Yeah. You understand? You got the Muslim cats that want Puff them. Then you got the people who thought that we had something to do with the Tupac, the Tupac murder. What about homeboy, man? Bald head, light skin, crip dude. Which one? That used to be in LA. He's always people puff all the time. D Mac. D Mac. What about him? He come in, in that story any type of way? D Mac, D -Mac was, was supposed to be holding puff down for every time he was down there. D Mac came to the house. Right. When I told them niggas right there, Bro, I told them niggas like that, yo, if we go to this party, niggas going to kill you niggas, some of us niggas tonight. You niggas tonight. Mm -hmm. D-Mac said, nigga, we lock and load together. We lock and load together. I said, nigga, I don't see none of y'all niggas locking nothing. I don't see none of y'all niggas load nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Went outside, Notorious Big is sitting in the car. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked to death. I swear for a living God on everything I love. I'm shocked. You know why I'm shocked? Two days before that, I tell his man, D-Rock, don't come nowhere we at. Don't be nowhere we at. Me and that nigga sharing a Newport. You understand? We sharing a Newport. That nigga did some shit and passed me, and I thought he passed me to Newport, and I took the weed like that. He said, yo, Gene, that's weed. I said, nigga, I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm telling you right now, yeah. don't come nowhere we at. Nigga gave me his hand and everything. Bet, Gene. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I said to the nigga, just like this doc, I swear for living God, man. Yo, don't tell nobody, man, I took that hit off that weed, bro. That's between me and you. He said, yo, Gene, it's between me and you. Yeah. I stayed outside because Puff was gone. We in this big, we had this compound that's like a studio. You know, you got to come through the gate and mm -hmm. everything like that the whole night. You know? So I'm back out there. You know, get my head right and everything like that. What I mean, get my head right. I said, yo, I just took a hit off that weed, man. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really feel nothing like that, so I go back in there. So Puff come in there, and Big say, Puff say, Big say to Puff, yo, I need some more security, man. He said, nigga, I left Gene here with you. Mm -hmm. You good. I told Gene to hold you. You good. Mm -hmm. Big was like, and Charlie Baltimore was there. You understand? Mm -hmm. She said, nigga, Gene is back here blowing L's with D-Rock. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at D-Rock like this. I said, oh. And then Puff said, 
Nah, Gene, you blew an L with D-Rock? I said, I don't know what the nigga talking about, man. Mm -hmm. And then Bill, Big said, it's some kid that died in North Carolina that was their man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He said, word to what you call, word to what you call. He said, right, D-Rock, word to what you call. And D-Rock said, uh, yeah, yeah. I said, Big, you want to run your mouth and tell something? Tell Puff how you wrote Lil' Kim shit. Mm. Tell Puff how you wrote Lil' C shit. Mm. Tell Puff, because we had that conversation. Right, 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 right. You understand? Right. And then Puff just changed and just went berserk on the nigga like, yo, I dare you to say it. He all in big face on my, I dare you to say it. Tell me you said it. Tell me you wrote Lil' Kim shit. Tell me you wrote Lil' Kim shit. Tell me you wrote what you call shit. Big says, no, Diddy. That's when I first heard, heard him call him Diddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, Diddy. No, nah, Diddy, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah. Puff walked out, I said, yeah, you running your motherfucking mouth. You ain't know I know what I know because you told me, remember? So there's no real tension between Puff and um, Biggie in L.A. at that day? No, nah, other than that part right there, yeah. you got to realize in Puff back of Puff mind, it's tension because he know Big is about to go. He yeah. about to leave. Yeah. See, people don't realize and understand that. It's millions and millions, close to hundreds of millions of dollars that's on the table for Bad Boy to go to the next level. But why go to L.A. though? That is the so true. Where else they going to get him? It was awards. But he could have left. Yeah. You understand? Know yeah. But what it, <laughs> right. You understand? Know the perfect spot at the time because of the awards. And then all the guys out there, they don't got right, to right, fly right. New York. You can blend in They're not going to come they, to New York and get big. It's, it's right, right. convenient for them. Yeah, they ain't right. going to come to get, they ain't going to do nothing, they ain't going to come to New York and do nothing to big. Right. Not like that. Yeah, the big. So they were trying to say the same thing, Suge, with Tupac. It, it's crazy because y'all stories is, it's on both sides, it's kind of similar. Like you got Tupac and Suge, you got Puff and Biggie. Then you got you and Reggie Wright. They said you and Reggie Wright, both like street dudes, but happen to be in law enforcement. And uh, Tupac's supposed to be leaving Suge, and, and Biggie's supposed to be losing, losing, um, leaving Pop. I mean, um, Big supposed to be leaving Puff. And it's like everything that's saying the same when it comes to both camps. Like both of y'all was the head of of, of, of y'all security. And now both of y'all is like big, big time YouTubers. And both of y'all going at it, you and Reggie Wright. Well, first of all, Doc, you know, um, you gonna make me tell you to remind me not to fuck with you again, man. You put my name in the same <laughs> sentence as that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, yo. Beat uh, <laughs> on. What up? What up, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying yeah. yeah. This nigga ain't on the same level. Yeah, what the fuck I have my, nigga talking about? I have my contract. I have my own contract with Puff. Right. Paul Offert was the head of Puff Security, mm -hmm. but he didn't run me. Right. He didn't run Wolf. Right. Yeah. You understand? Wolf was over everything, but Paul was over the security thing like that. You understand? Yeah. So I had my own contract. Mm -hmm. Paul didn't get a dime off me. Right. You know, like he had other niggas working for Puff. Yeah. He but you was the only one cents. licensed to carry though. Oh, you know, them niggas not, wasn't licensed. They had some dudes. They had a couple of dudes on there. I'm saying Paul and them wasn't licensed. No, not Paul and them. You yeah. understand? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I found out this this nigga ain't gonna bust a grape in a wine factory. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just keeping a buck with you. Because right, right. what people don't know, he was right behind the killer who shot B. Mm. Wow, this some exclusive stuff here, man. Yes, sir. He's right behind. Some stuff. He said, "Oh, Puff bodyguard." That's that like button. He, he said, "Puff bodyguard." That like button. He said, "Puff bodyguard is um, what's his name is Paul was right behind the killer." First time people Check this shit this out, song. bro. That's crazy. Paul got out the car because big man from uh, Philadelphia tried to do a U-turn to follow the convoy. He ain't on top of his game. Didn't know the dude was with us. Mm. So he gets out and checks the dude. So now, this is Big's car. That's the killer's car right there. So when Paul Man, when when Big Man do the U-turn right there, Paul is right there trying to stop him. So when the dude do the shooting on the other side of Big's car, you know what I'm saying? On the other side of Big's car, because he's in the parking space. Bow! Paul should have been on top of him.
was running around to the front of Big's car and start letting him off. Because I know he was going to let him off because he had one of my girlfriends. You understand what I'm saying? And that night, that bitch was still a virgin. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So he could have ran around. That nigga, when I got to the car, when I got back to the car, because we had blue the light way before the shooting. Okay. When we turned back around, them niggas running from down the block. Wow. That's crazy. Do you understand? They were still running from down the block, coming back to the car. So Mace said, used to the shot. So was Mace there or he just talking? Mace is talking. Mace told off on himself when he said, I ain't come to the party because I was in the room with Brandy. Okay. And then he said, Brandy was calling me, trying to get me to come out to the party. So you mean... You was on her, your phone, and Brandy was on her phone, mm -hmm. and y'all was in the same room, and she calling you, trying to get you out to go to the party? Yeah, that don't make sense. Yeah, that don't make sense. That don't make no sense, yeah, yeah. but he said it. Yeah. Brandy was trying to get me to come out and go to the party. But Mace knew he wasn't going nowhere, because Mace had the heads up. Mm. Oh, yeah, now I get you mm -hmm. what you're saying. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Niggas is foul, man. But then they want to say, he want to get on, why you didn't shoot? Nigga, because I'm down the block. Well, I'm just going to shoot down there and one of my bullets catch an innocent bystander? Right. Nigga, I ain't stupid. Man, you wasn't up on the scene. I ain't stupid. Right. But I tell you one thing. The people who know what they know, you ain't never got to worry about me squeezing them. 100%. 100%. So, here's my question. So, after all that transpired, right? Did you run into Puff? No, when, after after the shit was over with? Yeah. Bruh, I wasn't fucking with Puff for about a year or so. Right. You understand? Because he was saying some shit and doing all that. I said, yeah, all right, cool. Right. Now I'm at Atlanta at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Wolf see me at Justin's. Mm -hmm. And we'll say, Jay, come to the back. And I said, yo, what you want, man? What's up? He's coming to the back. He said, yo, Puff, put Gene back to work. Puff said, yo, Gene, you want to go back to work? I said, I don't care. He said, see me in my office on Monday. And I went down to the office on Monday. Mm -hmm. He said, yo, Gene, what days you want? I said, I take Saturdays and Sundays. He said, yeah, all right, cool. And I went back to work for him. For another two, about three years, three or four years. Oh, so you you think from that night that you know they saying you didn't shoot? That's the reason why Puff stopped fucking with you. Man, come on, save his life. How the fuck he gonna stop fucking with me, Doc? And you stop fucking with him, huh? I stopped fucking with him. Okay. He stopped fucking with me. Yeah. You know, he wasn't calling me. I wasn't calling him. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I went through that city college shit with the nigga. When nine kids died. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I you understand? Night. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So now I went through that shit with him. Now I went through with him, what probably arguably the world's greatest rapper, and he didn't listen to me then. So did I go back to work for him? Me and Puff never had a beef because I got paid on time. You okay. understand? So now it is what it is. I wanted to have a conversation with about Big, but he never wanted to have a conversation about it. Wow. So I went back to work. You know what I'm saying? Listen here, man. People can say what they fucking want to say. You understand? Always, it's going to be bosses. It's going to be people you deal with that you ain't do you like. But if the money good, sometimes you fuck around with it until you can do better. Exactly. And I still had my state job. I right. was good. Right. I was still running tiny towers. Mm -hmm. I was still running Lampert Houses, the security over there, mm -hmm. getting a check from Elite Investigations. I was still giving parties with Slick and the family. Mm -hmm. Doing my thing, boat rising the whole nine yards. Yeah, so you know what Y'all done came up to the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all used to yeah, yeah, yeah. come to the party. Yo, Big G, you gonna charge me? You motherfucking yeah, right, nigga. <laughs> <is crazy. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy. You had the same thing we had on, nigga. <laughs> you talking about <laughs> so, 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 all these old clown ass yeah, niggas don't know. I was yeah. still doing my thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I left the same game, started slicking the family. 
-hmm. You understand? So my whole thing about it was, is this, you know, other than not listening to me, Puff ain't never do nothing wrong until later, until later. You understand what I'm saying? So this this last week, Keith D got locked up for the for the Tupac murder. Mm -hmm. um, but they saying that Puff, Keith D made a statement that saying Puff uh, talked to some Southside Crips about handling Pac a hundred, I mean a million dollars. And then he, then he like this, this when he took the what kind of agreement he had a profit agreement, right? Proffer. Yeah, a profit, profit agreement. agreement. Yeah. So he talked about, you know, the million dollars for for Pac. Do you think and and Reggie Wright did warn him? I remember. I know you don't mess with Reggie Wright, but he told Keefe he stopped talking or it was gonna be arrest. You 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 felt Keefe D was gonna get arrested ahead of time also because I know Reggie Wright been saying that, but you felt by him be doing these interviews that he's gonna get arrested. And do you think? that uh, Keith D gonna beat the case? I said a long time ago, before him and Reggie got into that whole shit, I said they had enough evidence if they wanted to lock Keefe D up back then. Mm -hmm. you know, unless the US attorney step in, that Vegas could lock him up. Right. You understand? He put himself in the situation, he put himself in the position saying that he was in the car. Right. Anybody know that whoever in the car right. is responsible for whatever happened to Tupac yeah. unless they become a state witness against the individual. That's just like if us three in the car mm -hmm. and Doc do the shooting. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'ma say I'm long Yo, I ain't know that nigga Doc was gonna do that damn shooting. That's all Doc fault. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. I become the state witness. Exactly. Right. You understand? Uh -huh. So I'm not going to be responsible. Uh -huh. What Vito going to do? Right. Yeah. Vito from yeah. the street. He going to be quiet. He ain't going to say a motherfucker thing. So, so now Vito and Doc going to jail. Right. Yeah. Right. You, know what I'm <laughs> yeah. you understand what I'm saying? So, so you knew he, he shouldn't have been so, talking. Well, I knew, but I knew that Vegas knew. Mm hmm that they had something if they wanted to do something. And I was wondering why, to myself, that Vegas was taking so long to do it that's, if that's they what, wanted that, to that's do what something. I, that's what I was talking about. Why do you think they waited this long? 30 years, right? I can't, it is 27, 27 but I 27. can't say. I don't know when, when he first got his proper agreement or whatever like that, but I think that Keefe D might get off. You know I think he's gonna beat it. You know what I'm saying? Because- what? No witness? Huh? No, it's, it's like this. No, but it he, has nothing to do with Suge and what Suge said. And the reason they went out off of Keefe D is based on what he said. But what's, go, what's about to happen, this is what I think, is that Keefe D wasn't the first one who put that shit out. The cop was, right? Greg K. Yeah, Greg K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greg K. Now, in a proper agreement, it's supposed to be you, your attorney, and the U.S. attorney, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And y'all make an agreement and everything like this called Queen for a day. Right. And in that thing, you tell them something that they want to know, everything that they want to know, and if they feel good, they not promising you nothing, but they saying they are gonna help you if you ever get caught in a situation or whatever like that, mm -hmm. regarding anything that you had done illegal based on this case and the stuff that they all talk to you about. Yeah. Now. I don't believe he said anything about Puff at that time because mm -hmm. I know they probably asked him. And if they asked him, he can't go back now and say, well, I didn't tell you that. What I actually believe, Doc, and I'm, I'm going to let you say what you got to say, I believe that the L.A. police officer, Greg Caden, mm -hmm. gave him a script. Wow. I can go for that. Yeah. Gave him that. a script so he could keep L.A., from owing any money right. from the Biggie camp and the Tupac camp. Right. You understand? Because they know that they had road cops. Right. And he read from that script so that's to like save he, himself. Okay, agreement. Right. He read from that script to save himself from that 
drug charges they had on him that could have got him 45 so, years so in jail. So he could stay down the street. Right. But the reason why I think that, because even when you hear him talking about he said, so Puff offered you the million dollars. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you can hear it. Right. But he said Puff said they got to go. This is the perfect time to do it after they beat up Orlando. Okay. And um, so the plot was done before um, the fight with, with Orlando. But he said this is per perfect timing. Mm -hmm. And he said the girls waved and said, right. oh, that's yeah. Tupac. And I talked about that huh? in the middle of Vegas. Man, you know how the streets of Vegas is yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to hear that. Yeah. You understand? But if that's his story, that's his story. I'm not knocking that man for his story. But what I'm saying is what it's going to get down to is that, check this out. This officer secretly taped the proffer agreement, allegedly. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think Keith D or somebody may have said that. He came out and said the shit in his book. He came out and said the shit in his movie. Yeah, he did, he did. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So Keefe D wasn't the one who came out and started speaking about it first. The officer came out and started speaking about it first. Exactly. So now all Keefe D had to say, my man, I'm just going by what they were saying, and I was just saying that shit to stay out of jail. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Uh, Shook Knight already said I wasn't even there. Cause, cause he's Shook a, he's a witness. Said, What's it there? Huh? Shook said he was He said I'm not testifying. He right. said he yeah. said free Keefe D, and he said he didn't. Uh, Orlando didn't do it. He right. said Orlando saved them from it. Cause, um, he tried to save him yeah. from the, the probation, probation violation. violation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now the witness who was done even said it. So now if they go by what the witnesses are saying, and Keefe D can prove. That that was a script given to him mm -hmm. by Greg Cady. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? In order to save himself from the 45 years for the PCP charges or whatever like that, right? Then he might have an opportunity to walk. The officer still he still he still on um, on he's still around he's still around he did an interview today on yeah. on uh, on Bond first. Yeah, he goes to the interview. Said, oh, on Bomb First, he did a, did an interview and he said that um, he said, "Oh, I ain't listening to uh, Suge always lying." He said, "We ain't, they don't need him." Like right. he trying to discredit Suge because Suge right. saying that Keith D wasn't even there. He ain't never seen Keith D. Mm -hmm. So he hides some. So Suge <clears throat> Suge like helping Keith D, but the the um, police saying that Suge is a liar. You can't believe nothing Suge saying. Mm -hmm. And he's on the opposite side. Right. The, the, uh, City Bloods and Crips. So, yeah, but see, what y'all gotta understand is, is that they did, that cop did a, a movie and made $6.2 million for the movie mm -hmm. to do the movie, something like that. But yet, and still, Reggie Wright is the one who gave, your man, uh, gave him, <laughs> uh, gave him all the information right. to it. Because right. how he know that Slick, I mean, not Slick, uh, uh, Suge, supposed to bought uh, uh, Poochie a uh, car in Impala. How did he know all the stuff that he knew in the book? He said that shit in the book. You understand? How did he know all the shit he knew? It came from Reggie Wright. It's supposed to have been Suge Man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Why would you say that your man, your man had bought another nigga who's respected for a murder, yeah, yeah. a mm -hmm. car like the guy yeah. at the murder scene? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you don't do that. Yeah. You know, Tupac fired that nigga a week before, say, I don't want your security bodyguard to me no more. And they got him on tape talking about, yo, fuck that nigga and all that shit like that. If Tupac said that shit, fuck him and all like that. Talking nasty oh, and so crazy about talking that. crazy to uh, About Tupac. Tupac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, a week before. A week before that shit. They got him on tape. So, oh, wow. So all that shit and, coming and, out. And, and Greg, and, uh, 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 not, Russell Poole, the lead detective that they got that was murdered. Oh, no, he wasn't murdered. He 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 had a heart attack and died or, or aneurysm and died at the police station when he was bringing evidence that showed that Reggie Wright mm -hmm. was responsible or had some dealings in both of the murders. Wow. Also, oh, Reggie Wright had Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so he had something to do with both? Wow. It had to be some money involved too, man. Always some money involved, bro. Yeah, some money. You gotta follow the motherfucking money. Million. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tupac fired him because he know he was getting overbilled, and, and, and even though they say Suge he he Suge was paying them, you know they was putting some shit in Tupac budget. 
uh, taking shit from out of Tupac budget mm -hmm. because they was paying David Kennedy and somebody else a hundred thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Cause so with the Biggie murder, I know they. Uh, I, I saw a YouTube somebody was saying that Reggie Wright, the guy who uh, Mac who has something to do with Tupac, worked with Reggie Wright. He tried to say he ain't know them. He ain't know them, but he did know them. But see, listen here. That's just like, you know, we've been in all kinds of situations. Every cop that's going to work for Bad Boy, even though Paul hires them, I'm going to know they cops when they work for Bad Boy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. All the drug dealers, I mean, all the hustlers, everybody for death row knew the cops. Right. But the head of security don't know. Reggie Wright didn't know him. But wasn't him a... I ain't gonna say all the cops. It wasn't a few of the cops for death row, off duty policemen. Yeah, Reggie Wright, you know. What you just said, man. You yeah. said a few of the cops yeah, for yeah, death yeah, row yeah. was off duty policemen. Right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> you answered your own no, question. Because, <laughs> hear what I'm saying, though, because when they came to New York, when they came to New York, at, like after the Source Awards and going to the tunnel and all that, we found out these niggas was off duty police. No, but not all yeah. of them. They had a mixture of street dudes. Yeah, yeah, they, they, had, they had a bunch of them, though. They had a lot of street dudes with them. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he said he had his own crew. Right, right. Like, he had the crew, you had your own crew, right? That's why I said that, yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. You know, I guess you know, need somebody to keep people in line and, and paying them. Right. right. No, but see, so like, this shit coming the dude out. The already man. said, the one dude said, yo, listen to me. And that's what I used, I used, to, I used to hire. Uh, a sergeant at the NYPD. Mm -hmm. So when in that NYPD show up, mm -hmm. the sergeant will talk to him. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yo, these are my guys. Some of them are corrections. Some of them are parole officers. Mm -hmm. Some of them are PD. You know what I'm saying? I got them. All right, sergeant. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He gonna say that he didn't know these guys, but then you had a lady who don't have a dog in the fight and said, "Yeah, they was at the. Those same guys was at." Biggie's killing. They was right at the Peterson Museum. David Mack, Perez, all that. They were there. A white chick, Lisa Steinberg, said that. She was one of Pac's managers. Mm. I don't want to introduce them to death row and everything like that. So they, they looked at man smart. Let's get cops to do it instead of street dudes to do it. They were saying the dude Poochie killed Big. Said, That's bullshit because Poochie ain't walk up to me. You understand? That was bullshit. Poochie, Poochie about Come on, get out of here, man. That bullshit. And he a blood, he gonna have blue, a blue suit, white shirt, blue bow tie. Mm -hmm. You understand? Not him at all. Not him at all. So, oh, well, so you knew Poochie? I didn't know him. Uh, no, I didn't know him. But I know what size of how tall the nigga was who yeah. walked up to me. Yeah. And then they had a picture. You know they had the picture of me, yeah. him, and Puff together. Yeah, 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 they did, yeah, yeah. They had a picture of me, him, and Puff together, and then the FBI agent, Phil Carson, mm -hmm. asked the police officer, he said, what happened to the picture of Gene Deal, the mom, and Puff? You understand what I'm saying? The cop said, there was no such picture. No oh, way. Wow. There was no such picture. Wow. But, you know, they paid the FBI the big bucks, you know, to do their job. Right? Yeah. The FBI's agent, Phil Carson, say, oh, so it wasn't no picture. He said, I thought I saw the picture myself, but since you said it wasn't no picture, why did you write that in your notes? <laughs> Yo, so the motherfucker had wrote it in his notes. That East Coast, West Coast rap battle hatred shit was like crazy. Yeah, it was, man. That and people was trying crazy, to say man. it wasn't no beef. Yeah. Yes, it, it was. It was beef yeah. with the fans. Because we would fans, go yeah. with, yeah. Yeah. places and motherfuckers would hate us. Yeah, because you were some shit like that. Yeah. Let off that shots in the air. Throw shit like that. Come on, man. It was a, it was, it it was was big. We, but then it was people that loved us, too, when we went places, it, too. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it was real, man. But it was. So, but so, that so, shit so did y'all ever, uh, they said Puff and, um, Shit was cool one time. So y'all security team, y'all knew each other already? I didn't know their security team and I didn't want to get to know. I don't try to yeah. get to know nobody's security yeah. team. You know, it ain't like that on my camp. And let me just say something. When Pac was alive, and I tell the story all the time, Suge was in a red drop top 
Bentley, uh, a Bentley or family, I think a Bentley or something like that. Tupac was in the white. They were sitting behind the House of Blues. You understand? We had me, me, Riz on the passenger side, Puff on the uh, driver's side, Kenny driving, a reporter in the middle, and I'm on the end. We drive by the motherfuckers. And Riz, you know who Riz was, right? Mm -hmm. From the valley. Mm -hmm. You know Riz work, right? Mm -hmm. Riz ain't playing. You know I'm what I'm saying? saying I'd rather see ten of Wolf before I'll see one of Riz. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. Riz was right there with 240 cows. Yeah, he going. He say, duck on them niggas right there. Drive back around. I'm like, oh my God. He say, Puff, talk to you. I want you to talk to them niggas right now. Mm. Puff let down the window. He said, yo, what up, Pac? Pac on his cell phone, looked at that nigga and turned his head the other way. Mm. I guess he was talking to Sugar on the phone, because Sugar was on his cell phone. Mm -hmm. He said, Red say, fuck that nigga. Talk to Suge, Suge the boss. Puff said to Suge, yo, what up, man? He said, what's up? He said, uh, yo, we got any problems out here, Suge? Suge said, I don't know any problems y'all got. He said, we good? He said, yeah, I guess y'all good. Just like that, and we drove off. You understand? Now, two things went to my head. If Riz knew that Puff had a million dollars hit on them niggas, drop me off at the hill. Y'all go on about your business. Yeah, he collect that money. <laughs> he collect that money. <laughs> you know, you knew Riz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop me off at the top of the hill. Valley wasn't no joke back then, man. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, he definitely took that, collect that money. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But then, you know, it was a reporter in the car, too. Wow. Mm. That's crazy. That's a lot of shit, man, for two motherfuckers. So, so you dealing with that, you really had to be on point. Your life was really on the line. My man, every day I walked out of my house, my life was on the line. I was a New York State parole officer. But see, I, dealt, I dealt in the 44th and the 42nd precinct and the 46th. Yeah, just, you understand? He, 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 yeah, I've been around him a lot of times, man. He, you know, he's a likable dude, but 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 people call him for jobs because they know Gene gonna hold it down. You understand what I'm saying? Some mild situation, but a lot of them kind of dangerous too. But he know how to move, man. That's yeah. how Puff and them call him, cause they heard about. It. He know how to move. You, you know, we wanted Puff started mingling uptown a little bit, Harlem and shit, and then you know, you know he, you know, it come Gene. But yeah, he about, probably the best thing that happened to that nigga man, on the security side, man. Look at you, a lot man. of the security niggas wasn't all that. I, I was around that shit, man. Yeah. It was they wasn't, and they wasn't carrying no guns, man. And Paul was. So like, is he is he cheap like they say he is? They say he they was say, never cheap to me. I uh, I could, yo, I couldn't lie on Puff like that. You know, I got my check every Thursday. Puff ain't cheap. If if you work Puff, he gonna he gonna get you. The boys, artists, they 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 talk crazy about. It. I'm, I'm talking, you know, I'm talking they about... They sound fucked up deals, that's on them. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about that, you know, I got paid every Thursday, got my money, and, you know, uh, he was cheap like when we went to eat and shit like that. <laughs> he, this nigga wasn't, he, was. he wasn't giving you no extra, So, I, but I, I was the type of nigga, I wasn't looking for no extra. You know, my jewels was just as shiny as any of those niggas. You know, my money was just as thick as any of those niggas. Yeah. So, you know, they ain't had nothing I had. Now. Them tab, them them them, them uh, dinner bills was heavy too. So was you in Atlanta with Wolf at this time when Wolf got killed? No, nah, no, no. Oh, so no, you you wasn't? No, no, I wasn't fucking time. with them no more. I had, after uh, oh, like I think oh nine, I got out the game, but when permanently. Wolf, when Wolf got killed? I don't I don't recall when Wolf got killed, but. I got. I stopped fucking with Puff in 2004. Because like, oh, Meech went to jail 05, and it was before then. 
Did Mitch go to jail on five? He went to jail on five. Yeah. I stopped doing security for a period in 2009. So Only Buck the- Lane don't get caught up in none of this stuff, huh? Well, Buck, nah. Because Buck and Wolf was, was, was a team. Right, it was Buck, Wolf, and L. And Buck, L, they was a team, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they was, they, was, they, was, they was a team. That's how Puff got his first money. Yeah. It was Buck, it was Wolf, and it was Al. Which first you know, Al, Keith. Which made our first yeah. month? No. Yeah, yeah Buck. Wolf. They got Al, Al, Al was in the, it was in the feds with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, good. And then I ran in, I ran in, you know, the Buck later on up in, um, 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 um what's the level work? Was you got to realize, uh, Bad Boy Hello, got their first name. Bad Boy probably was supposed to be Buck Baby. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They was going to take that money they supposed to be with the limousine company or with butt naked and stuff like that. And they was, they was, put, they was yeah, putting the money yeah, into bad boy. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? That's why Wolf was talking about, nigga, I gave you, th- I had 300,000 when I first started fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? So I need that back. And Puff had promised that he was going to give it back once you do that deal with um, uh, okay. Universal. No, yeah, Universal. Universal, yeah, yeah. You're going to deal with Universal. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. So, damn, this is really interesting here, man. Yeah, that's why we're going to wrap it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, let me ask you one more question, though. So you seen it? You haven't seen him since then? Not, not, no way, no way. I seen Puff a couple of times when he used to come to the Kingdom. Right. And, you know, he tried to give me, send some money over to, I was running security at the Kingdom. Right. He tried to send some money over to him. I said, man, take that shit. No, I don't want that shit. Right. Then I seen to my... Uh, when they had, what was the strip club over there? Sin City? Sin City, yeah. He tried to send like four or five bottles over to me. You know what I'm saying? I told uh, Jewel, man, send that shit back. Jewel said, fuck that, I'm drinking that shit. Thinking it. So what would it take so for, for you and him to? Man, don't ask me that bullshit, man. Get out of here. What, what you mean, <laughs> what would it take? It ain't take a motherfucking thing, nigga. I don't, yo, I'm not fucking with that nigga. That nigga not fuck with me. And then we good. Right. Ain't no what would it take That's or nothing right. like that. Okay. I ain't got to fuck with him. He ain't got to fuck with me. I'm a grown man. He a grown man. He ain't got nothing that I don't have. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm me. good with but it. They, they be putting a lot of stuff on him. They, that Illuminati stuff with his his wife. And, I mean, his baby mom. They be going crazy with that Illuminati stuff. Well, you baby. know, it, 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 it's you don't get to a point that him and your, his man got to without being inducted into certain shit, bro. Yeah. You know, I know this for a fact. You understand? And being... A lot of people said that. Being what I know and being in a secret society, which I am. Oh, so that's a real secret society. You, yeah, it's certain secret society. Like, like you have fraternities with your secret societies, bro. Wow, I ain't know you that. You understand? Niggas get branded. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Niggas take oaths. I'm just keeping a buck with you. Yeah, you been like this. You, you know what I'm saying? Got, what I say? got yeah, a yeah, brand yeah, yeah. on my wrist. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Got brands on my chest. I saw Campbell yeah. always say that, like talk about um. Oh, what's, what's, no, wrong no, no, right? no, what's wrong with this nigga? No, no, I'm saying. What's wrong with what's that? that? No, no, I'm saying. But I, I, right? thought, I, I, yeah. I, I didn't think it was wrong until you saying all this. I ain't believe you don't none see of that. Pictures and all that, but he got the, um, I ain't believe none of that. Um, old there, there's secret societies. Yeah. There are bones and skulls. There's masons wow. and everything like that. I know that. masons, but, 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 like, but, but man, yeah. So, but what I'm just I'm saying that to say yeah. this is that you see them throwing certain signs at each other. Yeah. You know certain signs. Yeah. Like when I see a mason throw a sign at somebody, and a mason might come to another brother or might think you a brother mm-hmm. and say some shit to you, you know what I'm saying? I can't say what they say because I won't involve that. Yeah. But he'll say something about the East yeah. and a certain way you're supposed to answer. answer that, yeah. Then they come together, they do certain kind of handshakes and signs. Those are secret societies. But those guys, when they get to a certain level, Everybody going to, like, my dudes always tell me, yo, Jay-Z, he's a genius. No, nigga, he not a genius. They say, I'm going to use you. You understand? Man, this shit Go work. put 100,000. Go put a, a 100,000 in this shit. thing. Go put 200,000 in this thing right here. And that 100,000 make him a couple of million. Mm-hmm. 
that 200,000 make him a couple of hundred million. Wow. You understand? Yeah. Because now they had took them under their thing. When Puff was sitting under there, hugged up with Kraft, the nigga who owns- Robert Kraft. Robert yeah, Kraft yeah. with yeah. the Patriots. Yeah. And he put that ring on his, he let Puff put that ring on him. Mm -hmm. And Puff let, he let, yeah. he took his ring and put it on Puff. Mm -hmm. What did you think that was about? Induction. Wow, it's crazy. Wow. That's some deep shit, Gene. I ain't believe in that. That I'm like, oh, okay. I heard about it for a lot of years. I heard about it a lot, but I heard too. about it in another way though, too, though. You hear people always maybe. Talk. Let I me just say this I say good. <laughs> he was saying dudes like Mace, Chris Brown, Usher, uh, Russell Simmons. They got some type of society thing going on where these dudes they they be they be fucking with each other, man. You know what I'm saying? No on. They call that a, a, some type of society too. You you see where it coming from? I hear what you're saying, man, but it's it, it's not. I wouldn't put them in that category like that. Now there's certain things and certain parties and certain situations that you only get invited to unless you're doing certain things. That's what I'm talking about. All right, but I wouldn't go and say Chris Brown. I wouldn't go and say Mace. No. I wouldn't go say all that. But I'm just saying there's certain parties that those guys go to. You understand that there's a door that you don't go past there as security, but you know, because I knew a couple of girls that was right. working those parties. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. You yeah. had to do certain things, man, right. to be involved. <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that's old, old talk. That ain't nothing new. Yeah. Old talk. But yo, yeah, I'm glad he never got to it. Gene. Yes, sir. That's your color too. Ain't that your color? That's my color. Yeah, right it's this color right there. Color for what? <laughs> we tell you at a lady day, man. Man, for the for the branding, that's for the for the um, oh, the, the secret society. Yeah, yeah, society. That, that, that purple, that's that's just, that's just color, man. Yeah. You gonna brand you be, be in for the beat to be in the next level? <laughs> no, 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 you're not doing this. <laughs> No. It, it, ain't, it ain't that easy. Nah, man. So it, ain't that you, easy. It, it take years, man. Yeah, he, he, he got it years that easy. He got years of that, man. There's a lot of brothers. Shaq, Jordan, a lot of brothers. Yeah. Like that. Throwing it up, yeah. But anyway. Oh, what's the name in it? Um, who was locked up with us? What's the name? Um, Mega. Mega. No, that's that's college shit. That's something totally different. It goes it on. It bro. goes from college, bro. It what you talking about? To oh, yeah, he oh, got the brand and all that. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying to tell you something, man. Oh, yeah, it goes back. Generations, it goes back, man. This goes well, back. They got crest. They got crest. Yeah. Let, let, let's wrap this up, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. Gene, Gene Dill, ladies and gentlemen. On the beat, on the beat. Thank you for coming to the show. All right. You know, hit that like and subscribe button. Yes, sir. We enjoyed you, brother. We enjoyed the real, man. We like the real, man. Appreciate you, man. Y'all can't be coming up here with this, these stories, man. That ain't that ain't touching us, man. We need real stories, man. And so you hit that like button.